7 moments of 2013. I'm a liar! Well, you're a liar! <laughs> um, I would just like to point out that Miley Cyrus on MTV was disgusting. Did we start that? At Hot97.com! Number 60, Harlem Shake. I figured before it got really, really out of hand, me and Angie said, why don't we just do one in the studio? It was like a, a quick thing that we all did here, and everybody was like grabbing little things from all over the studio to make it happen. Um, but fun, just a stupid, ridiculous thing to do on a work day. You know what? <laughs> Funny thing though, <laughs> that's not the Harlem Shake! Get it through your freaking heads! That's not the Harlem Shake. I don't know why they called it the Harlem Shake. The guy who made it is not from Harlem. I don't know if you've ever been a ha above 110th Street. Okay, the Harlem Shake is... That's the Harlem Shake! They do the Harlem Shake. Number 59, Gucci Mane lashes out. Number 58, ODB and EZE holograms at Rock the Bells. Number 57, Rihanna versus Karuchi. I can't keep track, honestly. I don't know what's going on with them between Rihanna and Chris and Karushi and Instagram and the Twitters and the following and the unfollowing and the favoriting. And I can't, I don't know what these people are doing with their lives. Chris is always really open in interviews and, but he hadn't really spoken about his relationship with Rihanna. They had been pretty careful about it since then. I mean, little things here and there. So it was like a little bit of a surprise to me that he was so open and so, Giving. Oh man, he's in a love triangle. <laughs> oh man, he's back with Rihanna. <laughs> it's very, you're very entertaining. If we had a reality show, whoa. Number 56, Forbes magazine names Diddy number one cash king. You never home, gotta call me on the yacht. Ten years from now, we'll still be on top. Number 55, Khaled fake proposes to Nicki Minaj. I would have proposed to you last year. I take it to the head video. I wanted to tell you. Number 54, ASAP Rocky and Jason Collins. The 2013 Awkward Award would go to ASAP Rocky. And I love Rocky. And I told him when I saw him that this was an amazingly funny and awkward moment. Of course, I'm talking about the VMAs when he mentioned homosexuality and pointed to Jason Collins who was standing next to him. Just knowing the guy, I think that people were too hard on him. Um, he definitely came out and said so himself. And I don't think Jason Collins was worried about it. The best thing was, you know, Rocky's a very progressive dude. He's been very pro-gay publicly. I know he didn't mean anything by it. It was just like one of those Freudian things that happened. And he's like, you know, homosexuals. Everybody being equal, color, homosexuality. Number 53, Kanye versus paparazzi. I tell you what, there were some good fights in boxing this year and in UFC, but the most consistent just fight series of the year had to be Kanye West versus the paparazzi. I mean, they were on a mission. They challenged Kanye. And as you know, Kanye likes to take the bait and go for it. I appreciate it, but don't talk. Right, I love you, you with them. I know, I don't want, I, that's fine, but yeah. don't talk. What about the throne too? With Jay-Z, people are pumped. Yo, I okay. said, I said Number 52, TLC biopic. Number 51, Pharrell creates first ever 24-hour music video. Well, give me all you got and don't hold me back. Yeah. Number 50, Kanye proclaims himself Tupac of fashion. I love that Kanye said that. He's the Tupac of fashion. I've been using that ever since. Like, I, I was having a meeting the other day and I was like, I'm the Tupac of this. I'm like the Tupac of everything since he said that. What y'all gonna see is, and I am going to be the Tupac of product. It ain't no Tupac of rap except for Tupac. I'm gonna be the first hip hop designer and because of that, I'm gonna be bigger than Walmart. Number 49, R.I.P. Criss Cross rapper Chris Kelly.
Number 48, Justin Bieber Gone Wild. You know, I've known Justin Bieber for a long time since he was a wee little boy. And Justin is growing up now. And he is doing the natural progression of all teenage stars. And that is called, you know, first you're a choir boy, then you get really popular, uh, very successful. Then you wild the fuck out. I would be mad if Justin Bieber wasn't doing anything like controversial because he's a, growing into a man. He's a, he's a young man who has a lot of money, a lot of access, he's good looking. Like he has to experience life a little bit. So people need to just lay off a little bit and let him have those experiences that we all had at that age. Don't get it twisted, Justin Bieber has a team behind him that's trying to figure out how to transition him from a child star into an adult that can be taken seriously. And so, you know, sometimes you gotta get caught with a little weed. That's a mark of adulthood, right? Number 47, Beyonce Mrs. Carter Show World Tour. Number 46, Ja Rule and 50 Cent on the same plane. I personally nominated ASAP Rocky for the most awkward moment of the year when he pointed at Jason Collins at the VMAs. However, if there was a runner up, it had to be the plane ride with 50 Cent and Ja Rule on the same flight. Unfortunately, there were no cameras there to capture this, but can you imagine Ja Rule just got out of jail He's flying for probably one of the first times in a few years because he's been locked up. And who gets on the plane but his arch nemesis, the man who supposedly uh, took down his entire career, 50 Cent? I mean, this is what awkward dreams are made of. It was cool for us to know that they could be grown men and get off the plane in peace. Probably terrifying for the other passengers. Could you imagine being on that plane when one of them walked on and then the other one came on? Um, but good for them. I guess we're officially over it now. Wouldn't it be even more amazing if they sat next to each other and like had awkward armrest beef? Number 45, Kendrick Lamar freestyle at Hot 97. This beat is thumping. 32 shots in the clip of his 34s. Lil nigga with heart frustrated of being broke while I was climbing the charts. Penitentiary dancing and chance with suicide. Pursuers is kind of sewers that love to eat on our tribe. Nigga, I got love for him. That's my angel and angel dust. I used to thug for him. Took me on my first mission. Transition. Good kid turn rapper. Pay attention. This deeper than you think. Right after my mission inside the game. Ask me about what's his name. I brushed it off as a joke as we watched him get off the stage. Music awards. Fast forward. Hall of nominees. I was planning to win. He was planning to leave with all his favorite accessories. Number 44, Miguel, Billboard Music Awards Dropkick. The kick heard around the world. I mean, we knew what you was going for, Miguel, but the execution wasn't quite right there. It's not that he is not agile and, and, and in good shape and able to jump over a mosh pit of people, but when you wear pants that's so tight, like you're a grown man, but you're wearing a five-year-old's pants. I could almost see the girl like in awe watching him and all of a sudden to get uh, a boot, like smashing you in the face was insane. Wearing them little girl's pants. Number 43, Revolt TV launch. The only place that I ever dreamt of launching this network. We are here at the birthplace, the home of my friend and partner, the greatest rapper of all time, the notorious B.I.G. The time has come. Number 42, Beyonce accused of lip syncing at inauguration. Number 41, Chris Brown Freestyle. Look, black beans, European, give a fuck about this paper. Say your girl is a fan, now that bitch up at my table. Every day the same cycle, got the weed, got the liquor, got the swishes in these bitches. We gon' pull an all nighter, doing this shit for VA, 200 on the freeway. They blowing up my phone, cause they trying to get it through. Hey, this shit looking like a relay. She already chose, cause it's too many niggas, but you not enough hoes. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Kanye West, and we're counting them down. Check out hot97.com. We the best! <laughs> As we keep counting down the top 97 moments of 2013.